Once you try this, it's going to become breakfast you want to have every morning. Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. I made it to my second video, so that's great. Today I want to share with you how to make quick, healthy, delicious breakfast. I know it sounds like a lot to be true, but believe me, once you try this, it's going to become breakfast you want to have every morning. First, let me tell you a small story about oat heaven called oatmeal. Okay, I know I'm making a big deal out of it, but I thought I have some right since this is how I start 90% of the days for the last 3 years. Oats are among the healthiest grains on earth. They are gluten-free, whole grain and a great source of important vitamins, minerals, fiber and antioxidants. But deciding which kind of oatmeal to make, traditional, steel cut, quick cook or instant can be tricky. Is one healthier than another, more satisfying, tastier? I did some research and here is what I found. There aren't any major differences in the nutritional benefits of the three types of oats. The major differences are shape, texture and cooking time. There are also culinary and personal preferences. But let me tell you, when it comes to oatmeal, it's all about toppings you use. Let's move on to our oatmeal preparation. Got ripe bananas sitting around? You're in luck! Ripe and overripe bananas are superhero of whole food, keeping things moisty while adding flavor and a natural sweetnesses. That's why I'm going to use one of these without adding any additional sweeteners. I'm using one small banana and slicing it in pieces. Don't worry about method since it's going to be kind of smash with the rest of ingredients. Prepare your cooking pot and place oats along with the rest of dry ingredients. After 2 minutes, add banana slices. Set your stove on a medium heat, give it a good mix and when you see liquid bubbling, reduce temperature to a minimum, especially because we're using quick cooking oats. They can burn easily, so keep an eye on them. After just 5 minutes, we have our oatmeal ready and now is the fun part. For today's video, I also wanted to share with you a very easy way to make a healthy jam that is going to be one of our toppings later. You're going to need 500 grams of raspberries. I'm using frozen, but if you have fresh one, that's even better. Add them to a pot along with the two tablespoons of maple syrup. I'm going to use just one because I love that natural sourness of raspberries. Give it a stir and simmer it over medium heat for about five to seven minutes or until raspberries start to break down. Once they are nice and juicy, turn off the heat and then add 2 tablespoons of chia seeds. Stir it together and then transfer the jam to a storage container and let it cool. This jam you can keep in a fridge for about a week. Finally, let's finish our oatmeal with some of my favorite toppings, including the jam, of course. Peanut butter is my go-to, but you can use any other nut butter you prefer. They're a great source of healthy fat and they provide a good amount of protein along with essential vitamins and minerals such as magnesium and zinc. There is no better combination than peanut butter and raspberry jam. You must try this. And if you just want to treat yourself, add one small piece of dark chocolate. To finish it off, I pour some oat milk over the porridge. So, as you can see, there is no reason to buy those instant oatmeals from groceries, which are full of additives and sugars, and you will feel much better if you make it on your own. 
Okay, this is it for today and I really hope I motivated you to make a list of the products we use today so you can go and do your shopping. It's much easier to include this healthy kind of meal into your daily routine once you have all the products you need in your kitchen. Thank you for watching and if you like this video please subscribe and come back next week. Bye!